What's up, guys? Gotta get some oil for that. A little squeaky. Uh, so we're back at the shop today. Go figure. Just another day here at the store. Um, things that I'm going to be working on today. Uh, we are going to be finishing out the trim on that back wall. Um, I need to get a hold of the dump that has had the open top dumpster out back for me uh, for the last month, even though it was only supposed to be a week, but it panned out. Uh, actually, it was pretty helpful having that here. We got a little bit of a honey-do list that we need to knock out today. Uh, one of the big things that I want to tackle today is checking this sump for leaks. Now, I did a whole video, a whole video that I chose not to publish. Um, basically, it was showing me filling up the first system. Uh, and then moving on to the second system. Well, when I started filling up the second system, there was a leak in the sump. It was not due to the fact of any damage. Um, it just, by what I could see, looks like uh, the person that put the sump together uh, failed to put silicone, um, not so much the silicone where the glass meets the glass, but the inside layer of silicone. So I ordered some silicone and got that in uh, the other day and did a little bit of a patch job on the uh, silicone for that sump and we had to wait 48 hours because that's what the direction said on this. Uh, the silicone was 48 hours to dry. Uh, so today, is actually 72 hours uh, we gave it an extra day uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill that guy up check it for leaks and we'll probably have to um, fill up the sump and just check it for like a day let it just sit there with water in it and then if it holds water we'll move on to uh, filling the entire system because I'd hate to put I don't know close to 200 gallons in there and then that sump still leak and then I'm not here overnight and we got big problems um, so we'll probably just put the you know 20 ish gallons of water that that sump probably holds in there and see and see if we actually fix it or not uh, something else that we are going to be checking on today is the cycling on this guy so yesterday went in and checked the NO2 and there was like a little bit of NO2 present. I hadn't tested the ammonia since I got um, zero ammonia and zero NO2 and then NO3 present. So I thought the system was cycled. Um, and then I just been randomly spot checking systems. You know, I've been still checking the frag system uh, that we cycled, not that we necessarily need to cycle a coral tank, but I wanted to cycle it because I do want to have some fish in there that are going to do uh, some work for me. That's a subject that we should probably get into in a little bit more detail. You know, the need to cycle a coral tank or a frag tank because um, those those muddies could get those muddies could get watered down pretty good. That could get pretty muddy pretty quick. But tested this system on the NO2 and there was a little bit of NO2 present like the day after I thought it was cycled. And then tested the ammonia and then there was ammonia present. So I think I got like a bad test in there to think that that was cycled. So uh, we put some more bacteria to that. Uh, so we'll do a little checkup on that, see how that's going. And uh, we'll fill up the sump. Gonna be working on some more painting. And we got to make some phone calls, do some of the business side of stuff, work on the website, that whole deal today. Um, and yeah, so let's get after it. All right, so we just tested the fish holding system, the saltwater fish holding system, and there is actually ammonia still present in that bad boy. Um, and there's NO2 present and there's NO3 present. So it's a little bit of a mess right now. Uh, so what we're gonna do, is we are going to add some more bacteria to it. I'm a little bit disappointed because I was actually going to do a fish order today. 
um, but I definitely want to be responsible about the way that I'm handling the fish. So we're going to hold off. We're going to see what the system does. I'm going to add uh, some more Dr. Tim's one and only. We'll give it another test tomorrow, check it out and see where it's at. Um, actually, if you guys want to check out, if you're in the process of setting up a tank and want to try out the Dr. Tim's, I will put a link in the description below um, to Corals Unlimited because we have that available for sale. Isn't that great? Get some bacteria in there and then this guy, we're going to start filling that up, checking out the leakage situation, make sure that we are watertight and uh, take it from there. All right, so we just filled up the sump that was leaking. Um, and I made an observation, I think in the last day or so. So the bottom of these tanks, they come with a pad, which um, is pretty beneficial for helping, you know, as far as if it's on an uneven surface or if it's just, it's just a good cushion uh, on the bottom of an aquarium. Well, when I filled this up the first time, I actually filled up uh, this first tier and allowed it to drain down into the sump and then I don't know if you can kind of you can kind of see like the black splotchiness there that is the black foam that's underneath and it still shows dampness there um, the part that you can't see anything you see like the reflection of the glass that is you know dry foam the little black spots is wet foam underneath. Now, when I first filled up this first tier and the water started draining down into the sump, I noticed that the black splotches were growing. I didn't think much of it. I thought it was just pressure from the glass pushing down on the uh, sponge because this is only sitting on the edges. There's no supports going across and didn't think much of it until obviously there was a leak on this side um, which that could have been the leveling and the just draining there um, i grabbed the shop vac i sucked all the water out of this zone sucked all the water out of that zone and i actually left most of the water in this zone and it appeared to be holding water well being a lot warmer the last couple of days um, evaporation has been pretty pretty heavy in the store uh, with the other tanks some of the tanks this tank doesn't even have a heater in it yet and it's been um, evaporating just air surface area and water moving uh, has been you know causing evaporation but um, in the last couple of days this water level has dropped and that pad underneath seems to have started to dry you can still see some wet spots but when i went into this and i was sealing the different sections i did not seal this middle section and as you can see right now we have water in that section we have water in this section and i didn't fill this up yet uh, but i wanted to test it overnight i figure i'll put a little bit of water see if it holds and then we'll move on to the other tiers from there. Um, but I wanted to see first, before I put water into this middle section, if this section would hold water and that section would hold water. I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes, see what happens The floors, other than you know my droplets from working around, um, is pretty dry. And we'll fill up this middle section. We're gonna let it sit overnight and see um, obviously, I'll pay attention if this starts leaking immediately. Um, I'll take care of it, but I'm going to give these two sections that I sealed up, which I just assumed were the problem uh, because that middle zone was holding water, even though that evaporation has uh, taken most of the water out of there. I'm going to see how these two zones that I fixed with silicone um, hold up for the next 30 minutes. I'm going to go work on the website come back and I'll fill up this middle section and then I'm just gonna let it sit overnight and see what happens and if it holds overnight I'm gonna mark the water level and if it holds overnight we'll move up and then if we can get this thing buttoned up 
I'd be pretty happy. But we'll give that about 30 minutes. We'll come back, check on it, and see how it's holding up. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. We're still dry. So now we're gonna test the middle zone, which I did not silicone the middle zone. So probably should grab the shop vac just in case, because if that's where the leak is, we're gonna to wanna to get that water out of there real quick. All right, so we filled it up to the point where it actually started coming over this baffle here in the sump. Uh, as far as what I can see right now, there doesn't appear to be any problems at all. And this is where the leak was originally. So I'll give it a couple minutes. I'll come back and take a look at it. But it looks like we may have. I'm not going to say it. All right, guys. So we filled up the sump. The sump is currently holding water. We did our. 30 minute intervals on each section to make sure that was watertight. Uh, we're gonna let that bad boy sit overnight and see if it holds up. And then if we're nice and dry when we come in tomorrow morning, we'll go through and fill up the entire system, check that out, see if that is actually watertight. And if it is, we'll start the cycling process on that one. We'll button it up and push it up against the other one, get the lights set up and all that whole deal. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna, wrap up today i'm probably going to edit this video put it all together for you guys and uh work on the website a little bit more if you guys want to check out the website if you want to support the store there's a link down in the description below if you want to see more of me and my daily videos here at the shop hit that subscribe button hit that bell don't be a part of the 54 percent be a salty one i'll see you guys tomorrow peace